Hello, welcome to section 6.5 in your textbook. This is lesson 4 for chapter or 6. And today we're working with slope point form. Last day we worked with slope intercept form when you were given a slope and an intercept. Today you'll be given a slope and a point. And this is an equation of a line or a linear equation, a straight line. The learning intentions, number one, are to be able to understand the values of the linear equation y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. Each of these values means something in relation to a slope and a point. And second is to be able to write an equation in slope point form, so to write in this form, given a graph and vice versa. So if you were given an equation, could you draw its related graph? First, what we need to do is we need to look at our equation. So our equation for slope point form gives us a slope and a point. That's why it's called slope point form. And this is the slope point form formula. And this isn't something you need to memorize because it is on your formula sheet, but as you become more and more familiar with it, most of you, I'm pretty sure, will memorize it. And it's y minus y1 equals m, then bracket x minus x1. And slope is m. That's something we've dealt with already this chapter. So the m is our slope. And x and y, just like before, x and y are pl placeholders. x and y tell us that we are on an xy grid. So that's our y and our x. The only ones that are new here are this x1 and y1. And x1, y1 is any point on the graph. Okay. So what I've done here is I've put our equation up. I have a slope and a point. And from this equation, can I label some important parts about it? So notice it's in this form. It's y equals a number and then some brackets. That's the y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 form. So our slope is the part that's out in front of the bracket. Our slope in this case is 3. Our slope in this case, 1 third. Our slope in this case is 4. The slope should be easy. And remember, slope is just a measure of how steep it is. I know this line's going up steeply, up 3 over 1. This one's not as steep. This one's going up 1 over 3. And this one's even steeper. It's going up 4 over 1. Now the points. It's called x1 and y1 because it's coming from any one point. And in this case, we're naming it point 1. That's why it's the x from point 1 and the y from point 1. So very important to this is the equation has minus signs in it. Okay? Minus sign, minus sign. That means we like those minus signs right now. So for this equation, x1 is 4. Because just looking at this part here, Oh, no. Let's uh, fix that here. Okay, I'll try not to touch the screen this time. So, notice, actually, we got one more to fix. Okay, see how there's a minus here? There's a minus here. That means it's the way it should be. This is like the formula. So x, x, good. Minus, minus, good. x1 is 4. So x1 is 4. Now y1. See how it's y, y, minus, minus. So y1 is 2. So the coordinate 4, 2 is on our graph. Now let's look at the next one x, x, minus, minus, so it's as it should be. x1 is 5. Now, here's where it starts to be a bit different. y is y. Minus is now a plus. y1 is 2. So remember, our formula likes minus. So what would have had to have happened here to turn this into a plus? Well, this would have had to have been... it would have had to have looked like this. y, y, minus, minus, a negative 2 is y, 1. And the reason that works is because a minus, a minus, is plus. Okay? So now let's look at our last one here. We have a coordinate. Because it's slope point form, it's going through a slope and a point. Our formula likes minus signs. So for this to have become a plus, it means we had to have put a negative 2 into it, because minus minus 2 would give us the plus. 
minus, minus, that's good. So y1 is 3. So now let's graph one of these. Um, let's look at... Um, let's look at this one here. We're going over 4, up 2 is our point. So our point is over 4, up 2. Because to graph this, we have a point and we have a slope. So our point was 4, 2. So my point's 4, 2. My slope is 3. And remember, do not start back at 0, 0. You start with a point, and then your slope always starts from your point. So our slope is 3, and slope is rise over run. So it's going up. 3 over 1, and my line will look like this here, okay, because it's going through the point 4, 2, so you can see it's going through the point over 4, up 2, and has a slope of going up 3 over 1. Okay, so now let's look at going from a graph, and I have a red one here and a black one here, so two different graphs, into an equation. So for slope point form, this is our slope point form, I need a slope and a point. So for this question here, I need a slope and a point. I could use this point, oh I'm moving it around here, which I didn't want to be doing. Um, so let's see, I could use this point, or I could use this point. I'm looking for any point where it goes through really nicely. And my slope, well in this case it's going up 1, 2, 3, over 2. So my slope is rise, how much it rises, divide by the run. So the slope is 3 over 2. And now my point. I could either use this point, which is the point 0, 1, or I could use this point down here, which is the point negative 2, negative 2. So the thing about when our last equation, when we're using y equals mx plus b, there's only one answer because b is always in the same spot. With this equation, we could get different answers, so I'll show you each of these. So y minus, let's say this is my point 1. So my x1, y1. y1 is 0, so, or sorry, y1 is 1. So y minus 1 equals my slope, x minus now what is x1? x1 is 0. So there it is. And we could also simplify this and get rid of the 0 part. Now another perfectly valid answer for this would be our slope doesn't change. But for this line, this point, if x1 was negative 2 and y1 was negative 2, well if x1 is negative 2, And y1 is negative 2, minus a minus is plus. So I get y plus 2, x minus a minus is plus. So these are both perfectly acceptable answers for this line. I have a slope, 3 over 2, 3 over 2, and I have a point. In the one case, I use this point, 0, 1. In the other case, I use the point, negative 2, negative 2. And minusing a negative is plus. Now let's look at this line down here. The slope of this line, I need to find two points where it goes through really nicely. It's going through really nicely right here. It's going through really nicely right here. It's going through really nicely right here. It's going down 1 over 4. So my slope is negative 1 over 4. Now I need to, to complete this, I need to find a point and put in x1, y1. So find any point. How about I'm going to use this point right here. This is coordinate, it's going over 4, up 0. So x1, y1. x1 is 4, y1 is 0. And there you go. So, and again, you could simplify and take care of the 0 if you needed. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to write an equation. And before, we were given a slope and a point. In this case, what if they didn't give us slope? Well, we can always find slope if we have two points. So, write an equation for the line that passes through these two points. So we know it's going through the point 1, 1, and it's going through the point 
negative 4, negative 2, remember x, y, x, y. And now to write our equation, I guess what we could do is we could draw this line like this. And then we could calculate the slope by looking at it. But what if we don't have a graph handy? We could also find slope. So maybe let's show it that way first. Our slope here would be, it's going up. 3 over 5, so our slope would be rise over run, our slope would be 3 fifths, or another way that we calculated slope before when given two points is our slope formula. So now we're into practicing with all of our tools. We have a slope formula, we have a slope intercept formula, we have a slope point formula, and for this case, when we're finding slope, you need a point 1 and a point 2. I'm just going to name this point 1 and this point 2. So slope is y2, so that's 1, minus y1, negative 2, x2 is 1, minus x1 is negative 4. And when you minus a minus, it's plus, so 1 minus minus 2 is 3. 1 minus minus 4 is 5, and you can see our slope, if we put the two points on and connected rise over run, just by looking at it, we got 3 fifths, using our formula is 3 fifths. So now, write an equation for this line. Well, our equation is y minus y1 equals m, bracket x minus x1. So our slope, 3 fifths, y and x are just placeholders. So now, this says x1, y1. If you wanted, you could rename this point 1 at this point. It doesn't matter which is which point. It matters when you're making slope, but when you're writing an equation, remember there's, there could be different answers. So maybe let's write both just to show that. So let's say point x1, y1 is our original x1, y1. Well, x1 is minus 4, so minus minus 4 is plus 4 minus minus 2 is plus 2. So that is one possible answer. Now another one, let's say we're going to use this as our new x1, y1. They're both 1, and there I have it. I have y minus 1 equals 3 fifths x minus 1. So these are both answers based on different points, but they give us the same equation. If I wanted to find some other point on this line, maybe what's the value when x is 6, I could put a 6 in for x and solve for my y. Your assignment for today's lesson, so point form, is page 372, and you're going to do questions 4 to 7, number 9, 11, and 14. You're going to do all letters, A, B, C, D, E, and good luck and stay classy, math class.